Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. What I have uh, here is some pizza dough. I'm going to be making like a hot pocket for my husband on his. Uh, but I'm using all taco stuff. So I'm going to smear a little sauce here. Don't need a lot. Ooh, it's bubbling up. That's a good dough. Then I'll be making me a what I call a taco pizza. See how it's bubbling up? That's a good pizza there. Mm, it's going to be a good pizza pocket. Alright, to that I'm going to be adding some cheese. I'll be adding some a uh, little bit of raw onion. A few little pieces of tomato. Not any, just a little one. I don't want too much liquid in here. <clears throat> okay, then I'll be adding the drained taco meat. Some taco meat here. Just put it in there. I don't want it that close to the edges. I'm trying to keep it away from the edges. If at all possible. A little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to try, like the Dickens, to fold this over. Okay. Alright, we got that part. And I'm gonna press this down and hope it stays sealed. They're supposed to. I do not like stuff all over the stove, all over the pan, when you're trying to bake it and it just don't work. <laughs> I'm going to turn this corner over here. may go back and do the same with the other side. I believe I will. Turn that corner in. Press it down, kind of like a calzone. Press again. Hopefully this seals nicely really don't want to take it out of the oven and everything's all over the pan as opposed to in the pocket and I'm going to poke some holes in the top for good measure alright I'm going to place that in a 450 degree oven and I will come back and tell y'all how long it took for it to actually cook. Now, when I bake this one, I'm not going to cut it open because actually, it's, you know, I'm going to give it to my husband. But I'll show you everything about the uh, taco pizza. Okay, y'all. This is his pizza pocket calzone taco whatever pocket. Uh, it cooked for 14 minutes and it's completely done. I'm going to be back in a few seconds and do my taco pizza. Okay, now I've got my pizza dough here. I don't know how well I'm going to do that like that. I'm just going to stretch it best I can. Don't have to be perfectly round. dough is really really soft I tried a different recipe maybe I should have put it online uh, put it on video but I wanted to just try something so I wanted a kind of a thin crust and I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not I'm sorry I'm bumping the camera too I'm working around a tripod trying to get a pizza dough done I mean, it keeps shrinking back into the middle. Well, I want the edges a little thicker than the center. I want it kind of crispy. Okay, so I'm going to pour this Taco Bell sauce here on it. I'll add a tiny tad more. 
Well, it's had a tiny tad. That's one a tad, isn't it, folks? Okay. So I'm going to spread this sauce. They had a pizza parlor, and that's what it was called, a pizza parlor, called Shakey's Pizza back home. And that's the where I first fell in love with a taco pizza. If you ask me what my favorite pizza is, I'd have to say it's a taco pizza or a plain, you know, like pepperoni with my olives and stuff. But this here, I just absolutely fell in love with Shakey's taco pizza. So, we got that on there. Now I'm going to use my hands, spread my meat. I don't want to use it all because I want taco salad later. When I get in a mood for something, I will like just keep making all kind of stuff. Like what? Like right now, I'm in the taco meat for some reason. I'll get on the kick and I'll stay on it until I get sick of it. Okay, we got that. I'm going to put some oh, yeah, I'm going to put some cheese. Oh, kind of clumped up on me. Alright, I'm going to put some cheese for a binder. Now this is not all you're going to see on this pizza. I've got some other little goodies that's going to go on it, but it's after, after it comes out of the oven. Put some cheese right there, because you're going to be adding more cheese to the top when it's all done. Okay, I'm going to add one more thing to it, and it's going to be some raw diced onions. Most of it looks like it's going in a pan instead of on my pizza. Alright, now this is going to go into the preheated 450 degree oven until it's baked and then I'll finish topping it then. Okay y'all, I'm back. Took 14 minutes for this to uh, cook. I'm gonna I learned from past history doing the taco pizza. It's actually better to cut it. Let me cut it and I'll be right back. I gotta move this camera. I need counter space, a warm room. Okay, sorry about that y'all, but I don't have much room between the tripod and the cutting board. See I've cut the pizza and I found that it works better to do that before dressing it. So, we're going to dress this pizza. I'm going to add some lettuce. A lot of lettuce. If you try to cut it after you dress it, I mean you have a, you really have a mess. I know I'm making a mess right now, but not as bad as trying to cut that pizza and put that lettuce on it. So I'm gonna move there we go spread that lettuce out pretty even then I'm going to add me some diced tomatoes you can add sour cream to this if you want to you can add uh, jalapeno peppers if I had some if Walmart wouldn't mess my order up I would have some uh, make it your own uh, you can even put a little chili sauce on it if you wanted to. Now I'm coming on it over it with some green onions and a little bit more of my raw white onions that I had left over. All this goodness is going on that. Pizza! Okay. We'll spread it a little bit. Alright, let me rinse my hands. We used the remainder of these little drizzles of Taco Bell sauce out of here and yes it's Taco Bell mild you can use any type that you want you can also instead of using the taco sauce like I did on um, the bottom of the pizza you can use um, salsa 
hour. You can also add salsa to the top of your pizza. But this is almost basically how it was. You'd get the taco sauce, the cheese, and uh, they'd bake that, then they'd dress it like this. And then, for the real topper, more cheese. Y'all, that is a taco pizza right there. You you just can't you can't get any better than a taco pizza. Unless it's pepperoni with green onions. <laughs> I mean the green olive. Alright, let me see if I can find that little fancy thing I bought. 20 years ago, but every time every time I need this I rarely can find it just like the pizza cutter. I was amazed, simply amazed, that the pizza cutter was actually easy access. So here you go. Here's a picture. I want you to see all sides of the pizza. It's completely cooked. This is going to be so good, y'all. Mm, I'm taking a bite now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it's every bit, as you can see, as messy as eating a taco. Oh, that is so good, y'all. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. <clears throat> I'm going to add one little feature to this. One more little thing. I'm going to add some salt. Because it don't have enough, in my opinion. Because it's like a taco salad, kind of like on a pizza, a taco. It's just, it's just goodness. So again, I'll say thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. <coughs> Excuse me. And if y'all would, please share my videos. Uh, spread the word. Give me a shout out or something. Uh, I'd sure like to get a few more subs. Y'all have a great day.